TorahCafe.com. I traveled halfway across the world to see a sage. He lived like such a poor man in this day and age. I said, where's your leather couches? Where's your golden chandelier? Where's your walk-in closet for all the stuff you could wear? Well, all you got's that suitcase, my friend. Ain't that true? I said, yeah, but you know that I'm just passing through. And that's when he said, I'm just like you. Just passing through Just like you My heart wants to feel Something that's real And my mind hopes to find Treasures of another kind And if you had my eyes you'd see A palace For you and me Although he's been They say, where's your leather couches? Where's your golden chandelier? Where's your walk-in closet for all the stuff you could wear? The neighbors talk, but they don't understand. The things he's collecting you can't hold in your hand. Like he said, I'm just like you. Just passing through Just like you My heart wants to feel Something that's real And my mind hopes to find Treasures of another kind And if you had my eyes you'd see A palace For you and me of another kind And if you had my eyes you'd see A palace For you and me And my heart wants to feel Something that's real And my mind hopes to find Treasures of another kind And if you had my eyes you'd see A palace So Just Like You, it's a very powerful uh, story that we're telling of a student who goes to visit a sage and the sage has nothing in his house. And he says, where's your couches? Where's your chandelier? And uh, he says back to the student, where's all your stuff? You just have a suitcase. And the student responds, but I'm just passing through. And that's when the sage says, aha, I'm just like you. I'm also just passing through. This world is temporary. Where people spend the, most of their life collecting stuff. Essentially, that's what we do. So we have garages for our stuff. And the sage tells him, I'm actually just like you. I also collect stuff. It's just not that type of stuff. Not leather couches and chandeliers. I collect 
treasures of another kind. So in the, in the second verse, there's a line that neighbors talk but they don't understand. That's another message that he's giving over, is not to be influenced or not to be worried what others will think. Um, you know, society, societal pressures or societal norms. And, you know, he stays focused on that higher goal and he's trying to convey that. The whole song is trying to convey that. And uh, it's something that we always have to keep in mind because it's just so easy to get caught up in the day to day. It's just impossible to avoid it. So it's like a, a constant push that I think we have to try to find a way to connect to that. This song is actually from our brand new album, Inner Flame. And uh, we're coming to the uh, National Jewish Retreat. We actually we performed there before, but we're coming back for the 10th annual, and we've got a, a brand new show. We're really excited about it. I remember last time, the audience, the crowd, the atmosphere was unbelievable. We're very excited to be coming back, and we look forward to an even more amazing experience. And we hope to see you there. Treasures of another kind, and if you had my eyes, you'd see.